during a recent video, we tested starting fluid in a small engine, and the small engine ran terrific, and it didn't even cause any sort of damage. We ran that engine for nearly a half an hour, quite impressive. I get a lot of great comments on videos to do, and following that video, I had at least 200 people ask me to test diesel. Will diesel work in a small engine? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to run some diesel through this small engine, if it'll even run, and find out if it's going to cause carbon buildup, or who knows, maybe it's actually going to clean up the engine. I don't know, maybe it'll cause some sort of other mechanical issue. I don't think it will, but there's only one way to find out. We've got some diesel, and I've got a small engine, so let's get this project underway. Okay, I'm going to add a few ounces of diesel. The fuel tank is empty. I'm about to add the diesel. Okay, the attempt to use diesel was not successful. Unfortunately, the thing ran for a while, started blowing a lot of smoke, and apparently I flooded this thing out on diesel. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try a 50-50 gas diesel mix. All right, this is the same container we used for diesel, so all I'm going to do is fill this up with gasoline and dump it in the fuel tank. Okay, just finished running the entire contents of the tank. It's gone. So I've got an idea. I want to try using a mothball along with a small amount of acetone and add that to the diesel instead of adding it to gas to see if that makes the engine um, run. So let's try one mothball and I'm going to add a little bit of acetone, just a small amount, enough to dissolve the mothball, not a lot. Okay, that should be plenty to dissolve the mothball. Okay, it's been a few minutes and the mothball is nearly dissolved. But what I'm going to do now is fill the rest of this container up with diesel fuel. So the contents of this container include approximately 16 ounces of diesel, maybe about a half an ounce of B12 chem tool and one mothball. I'm gonna go ahead and add the mothball B12 chem tool diesel mix. I'm gonna use a filter to get the solids out. Okay, the engine has cooled off since I ran out of diesel, and I've added the diesel chem tool mothball mix. We'll see if it's going to run, and this is a cold start.
So gas and diesel engines operate off of very different principles. Diesels use compression for ignition and gasoline engines use the spark plug. And so with diesel, it just doesn't flash uh, as quickly or it's not as explosive as diesel. Diesel burns a lot slower. So in my left hand on your right side is diesel and this is gasoline. So what I'm going to do is pour each of these on this cardboard behind me and I'm going to light them up at the same time and we're going to watch the difference in how they burn. So the side with gasoline on it had a stream of gasoline right down this piece of cardboard and as you notice it's not burning. In fact, only the side with diesel on it is really burning aggressively. So anyway, gas and diesel engines work off greatly different principles. Well I have to admit I'm really impressed that the 50-50 diesel gas mix worked. I was a little disappointed that the mothball chem tool diesel mix didn't work. But that's asking quite a bit, and it probably could have worked with maybe a 25% gas then using the mothball chem tool mix. But anyway, maybe I can do that in a future video. Hey, I got this idea from the comments that were left. So if you have other comments that are other video ideas, please leave those. I really enjoy reading your comments. Also, I do put a lot of time and effort in these videos. It's well worth it. Uh, you guys give me a lot of positive feedback, and you give me the thumbs up when I've earned it. You also give me a lot of good constructive feedback. So if there's something I can do better, I'd love to hear from you about that as well. Anyway, as usual, I really enjoy your comments and just wanna say thank you very much for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you next time.